So now, um, we've been able to identify our instance and test, and um, we are going to use that to answer some questions. So, the 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 question that probably may follow is that if the crank length two is two hundred millimeters long and rotate at five rad per second anti-clockwise, determine the angular velocity of length three and length four. So we used a simple formula: omega m on omega n is equal to plus or minus one comma n two m comma n all on 1, m to m comma n so we know omega uh, omega n which is so suppose we are looking for omega n this is the formula right so suppose we are looking for omega m knowing omega n this is the formula so now you've been given omega 2 and we're looking for what, 3 and 4 so let's do for the two, 3 first so omega 3 on omega 2 will be equal to plus or minus one comma two towards two comma three all on one comma three towards two comma three so if we come to our diagram instance center diagram one comma two the joint one comma two is at this point so let me label them one comma two two comma three three comma four and then what one comma four right <coughs> so one comma two is here 2,3 is here. So what you're going to do is that you measure from here to here. I mean, that, that was given in the question as what? 200 millimeters. But the point is, this 200 millimeters is like a scale, a scaled form of this length, understand that? So you will measure this length. So assuming you measure it and get like, say, uh, 3 centimeters, then you say that that 3 centimeters is equal to what? 200 mm right so from here to here is 200 mm and then you measure from here to here so suppose you measure from here to here and get like six centimeters then you find the equivalent length in this form because like this you measure this you have three centimeters now saying that use the condition that this length is 200 millimeters that means this length has been scaled to 200 millimeters so what should be the equivalent scaled form of this length so 6 cm is equal to what let's say x right so we know that from 1 2 to 2 3 is our what 1 comma n to n comma m you understand that we just want the length between the joint this joint and then what this joint and the question gave us it about 200 millimeters now the one comma m to mn we are having six centimeters so you use this condition right if three centimeters equal to 200 millimeters what does this centimeters be because one comma n to n comma m is giving you three cm where the condition is that make sure they assume it is what 200 mm so if m one comma m to m comma n is six cm what should be the equivalent what length so we do this simple math that's going to be x to be equal to 200 times 6 all on what 3 and that should give us what 400 mm okay so we are going to have omega 3 on omega 2 is equal to plus or minus 200 here all on what 400 i didn't change them to meters because i know they will cancel out but right but when you are using the formula v equals omega r you make sure you convert the units to what meters okay so we now have the ratio now the what as to whether we are using the plus or the minus so for that you check uh you see we have one comma two and one comma three and two comma three this is the common point so the two comma three or the m comma n right if it is lying between one comma n and one comma m we use negative if it is lying outside one comma m and one comma n we use what positive so this is one comma three which is one comma m and this is what one comma what n and then m comma n is lying between one comma m and what one comma n is a line between them so if it is between this and this then we are going to use what negative so you you cancel the positive i mean you go to the next step and make it negative so 
Omega, the omega 2 was 5 rad, which was what? Counterclockwise, and it's going to be positive. So we are going to have omega 3 to be equal to minus 5 times 200 on what? 400, and that is going to be 2.5 minus 2.5 rad per second. So now we know the angular velocity of what? Length 3. So we can also find the angular velocity of what? Length 4. Now that is exactly so we have omega 4 on omega 2 and that should be equal to plus or minus 1 comma 2 to 2 comma 4 all on 1 comma 4 to 2 comma 4 so that one also we are going to use the same scale so if 200 millimeter is equivalent to the 3 cm here because this this is scaled with this and i have explained earlier so if 2 millimeters is equal to this then if you come and measure 1 comma 2 to 2 comma 4 what's the value so if one if from here to here is say um 3.5 centimeters then we are saying that 1 comma 2 to 2 comma 4 is equal to what 3.5 cm what should be the equivalent value in what in terms of the scale from the millimeters so that one to you we say that s is equal to so if 2 million 200 millimeters is 3 centimeters then the 3.5 is going to be what are you okay this is simple math this is simple uh, scaling right so we have um that's going to be 200 times 3.5 on what? 3. And that should be 200 times 3.5 on 3. That is what? 233.33. Right? So we have 233.33. Okay, then you measure from so you now you know one two to what two four. Then you measure one uh, the next is what one four to what two four. So one four two four. Suppose you measure and you have like five point five. Then we come again. If two mm is equivalent to the three centimeters, what will from here to here be? You said we had five point five, right? So the x I'm just using as a variable to find my own known. That doesn't mean this should be the same. I, okay, I'm just using the x to do this small ratio thing here. So x should be equal to 5.5 on 3 times what 200, and that should be 5.5 5 .5 on 3 times 200, and that is 3 success point 6 success. 3 success point towards 6 6 mm. Good. So now I can say that. Omega 4 on omega 2 is equal to plus or minus 233.33 all on 366.66. Now, as to whether using positive or negative, once again, we check. If the Mn is outside the 1, n and 1, m or inside. So, this is 1, n and this is what? 1, n with respect to omega 4 and omega 2. Where is m comma n? M comma n is here. So you realize that m comma n is outside one comma n and what one comma n and one comma m is outside them. But if you look at the previous one, one comma n, one comma m, and m comma n was inside. So here our m comma n is outside one comma n and what one comma m. So if it is so, we are going to use what the positive. So omega four will be equal to five, and the, the omega two is positive counterclockwise. So five times what. 233.33 all on 366.66 and that is going to be 5 times ratio 233.33 all on 366.66 and we are getting 3.18 rad per second 
so this is how you calculate the angular velocity of the various length so we now know the angular velocity of length 2 we know the angular velocity of length 3 and then what's the angular velocity of length 4 thank you for watching